Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a grid set for a specific game to use with the game on accessory. So we start with the Smartbox Game on Templates grid set, which is available on online grids. If we open that up, and I'm going to be editing the simple grid here but the first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this grid so clicking on menu and edit grid and I'm going to click on the blue grid set tab and here I could see all the grids in this grid set and the one I want to create a copy of is called player one simple so I select that and select copy. And the grid set that I'm going to make is for the Xbox game Crash Team Racing, which is uh, just a simple uh, driving racing game. Um, so that's what I will call the grid set. And you'll notice that all the grids are duplicated four times in this grid set. There's one set for each player number. You only really need to worry about that if you're going to play against other game on users in the same room so that you, you can have the four controllers without them um, conflicting. But generally, you're going to just use player one. So it's the player one grid set that I'm going to copy. So we can see in the title at the top that we're in our new grid, Crash Team Racing. And this grid will give you most of the controls you need for the game. You can steer left and right with the D-pad, or you can hold down left and right for going around a longer corner. And you've got the four buttons here, but the thing that's really missing is a way of pressing and holding the A button. Because you have to keep the A button pressed to keep moving forward. And when you release it, you'll come to a stop. So we need a way of keeping that button pressed down for longer. So what I'm going to do is again, go to the blue grid set tab. And this time I'm going to go to player one full. And I can just double click that to open it. And this grid contains all the possible buttons that you could use um, to control the game on controller. So it may look a little bit overwhelming, but we only need to take one of these buttons on this occasion. And that is the one that is the A button with the label hold, because that will press and hold the A button down. So if I select that cell and then choose copy from the menu bar, And now we can go back to the grid that we're making, Crash Team Racing, and just select somewhere and choose Paste. Okay, so we've got our button here. I'm going to give it a new label because it's going to do a specific function in this game, and it's going to be the Accelerate. button. I'm just going to make the text a little bit bigger. And then the last thing I'm going to do is resize this cell. So it'll be easier to play if this is as big as possible. So I'm just going to click on these two and move them up so they're in a block. And then I can choose my accelerate cell here and I can drag it to the size I want it to be. And the last thing that we need to do is to create a jump cell from the home grid so that we can get to our new grid. So if I click on home grid and then follow jump, see so we've got the simple, intermediate and full. So I'm going to create a new jump underneath simple. 
which is going to jump to crash team racing so if i just go to create cell and jump to and then i just need to scroll down to crash team racing and lastly we need to get a picture that's going to help with knowing where this grid will jump to so if i go to find picture and then i'm going to go to web search and i'm just going to delete the first bit of this so we're searching just for crash team racing and then we can choose something that represents the game and then we can click on finish editing and save our changes okay so i can still now get to the template grids here or i can get to my custom grid which i've made with this cell here it may be that when you start playing the game that there are other other buttons that are needed perhaps the bumper buttons i think that is jump um you would just do exactly the same process just go into the full grid and copy and paste across the relevant buttons and then perhaps label them according to their function in this particular game for this game i'd recommend that you also go into the settings on your game on accessory and set the long button press time to be the maximum possible so that when you press this accelerator cell here it holds the button down for as long as is possible to do so the information on how to make that change is found in the game on manual so uh, i hope you find that helpful and i hope you have fun with creating your own grid sets if you create a grid set for a specific game it would be really helpful for others in the community if you could upload that to our online grids sharing site and then others will be able to download and use that too. Thank you for watching.